asking you shall receive. I've spoken about this before. How come it seems to work for other people, but it's not working for you? Hi, I'm Allie Beerman. I'm very glad you came by here today and you can find me at Thrive. Don't just survive. Dot com. So what is it that causes things not to manifest for you? Well, 95% of your thoughts every day and your behaviors every day, 95% you do acting from your subconscious. You're not even a conscious participant in your life. You're running on programs on automatic. So when you're asking for something, you consciously might want to get rid of a painful condition, a situation, but it's the subconscious programs running contrary to that result, won't let it happen. Rarely, but sometimes it might be in your awareness. For instance, someone came to see me, she wanted to quit smoking. And I have a very successful method to help someone quit smoking, one, maybe two sessions. She came back to see me for the second session and said, I don't want to quit smoking. Why? Because so long as she was smoking, she had this fear that she was developing lung cancer. And when she shared that with her family, they rallied around her. She hadn't been close to her family in years. And the possibility that she was creating or already had lung cancer, she didn't want to let that go. So she was running programs that wouldn't let it happen, no matter how powerful the method was that we were using. Sometimes a method won't clear, I mean an issue won't clear, because it's not safe for you, or maybe it's not safe for somebody else for that to happen. Maybe it's not in your best interest, or in the best interest of somebody else. So all programs running in your subconscious mind. And if you want some help with that, why don't you go ahead and contact me personally and we'll help you through that. I really appreciate your clicking like and share and I will see you here next week.